Hello and welcome to another uh, tutorial on uh, PIC microcontrollers. Uh, today we'll be looking at programming the microchip PIC chip using a variety of different programming techniques. Uh, let's look at some different types of programmers, shall we? Um, some different ones are, there's some that just have uh, zero insert friction uh, connectors on them, which is basically like a small socket or a ZIF socket. Uh, the CCS Mach X programmer has one, as well as the ME Labs U2 programmer. Um, the CCS Mach X is actually, it is from Custom Computer Services, the people that uh, built the C compiler that we used uh, in the previous tutorial on the Blink project. They create this. And basically what a ZIF does is you just place your chip in the socket. It has a, a little lever on it that you can use. It's kind of, you can sort of see it here on the Mach X, so you can see it pretty good right here. You lift it up, that unlocks the socket. You drop your chip in and then clamp it back down with that, uh, with that little lever and that holds it in place. And then uh, you can then begin programming it. Uh, the Mach X uh, you just place your pin in pin 1, which it's designated here. You just place, make sure you match up pin 1 to here. And then uh, it's placed in properly. Over here on the U2 programmer, however, um, it depends on how large your your chips get as to which way uh, either the top or the bottom uh, is going to be pin 1 uh, starting out. And this ribbon cable, you actually swap this uh, zip around. You'll turn it around and place it over, place the ribbon cable over here and then to the to the main board uh, for uh, longer and larger chips you'll place over here and then for shorter smaller chips you'll place it over here and it's all designated on the board so you don't have to worry about uh, any guesswork with that it's it's all labeled uh, to do that with the next type of one is like this one down here the ICD3 is a ICSP uh, and ICD those are in circuit serial programmers and uh, in-circuit debuggers. And the CCS Mach X programmer has this ability as well. Um, down here on the bottom says ICD. It's kind of hard to see, but that, that's got a little like telephone jack. It's got an RJ11 port in it uh, for connecting an in-circuit serial uh, programming interface into that, as well as the ICD3. You can see the cable coming out here. What those are, we will describe a little bit later in this presentation. So let's move on to software. There's the ME Labs U2 programmer uses the Epic software. Uh, this is the programming software that they will be using. Basically, how this is going to work is you will actually take and come in here, and the first thing you'll do is set your device. So you'll choose your device from this little drop down menu. Uh, in the case of the Blink uh, project, we'll be using the 676, uh, 16F676 chip and then you will come on over here to the little open file folder or choose file open and open up your hex file which uh, if you saw the last tutorial we explained uh, the hex files that are compiled from the C compiler or from your assembly code if you're using an assembly uh, assembler and that hex file then will show up over here in the ME probe memory you actually see it in hexadecimal format you will then come over and press uh, program, the program button, which is this one, and that will effectively burn the chip or, or burn the program onto the chip to where um, to where then your chip will now run your program. So very straightforward. Um, some of the other functionality this has is there's this little check mark here is the verify. Basically what it does is it will check and compare the code on that's actually existing on the chip uh, with a file. You can actually open up a certain hex file and then check to see if that code resides on the chip that you have in the programmer at that point by clicking the verify button. The next one that looks like a little book uh, is the read function. Uh, what it does is it will basically just what it says it'll read the code off the chip and display it here in your program memory. Uh, the blank check is does exactly what it says, um, self-explanatory. It checks to see if the chip is blank. And then the erase, same deal, self-explanatory. It'll erase the chip and take code off of it. Now, when reading with the read command, uh, as I explained earlier in earlier tutorial, tutorials uh, in the Blink project, if you set the fuse or the config register bit for uh, code protection, 
uh, you will not be able to read the code off of that chip. Um, that's kind of that security feature that is inherent to all PIC microcontrollers that you can actually set code protection that way when the code is burnt to the chip it will actually be encrypted if it if you try to read it off the chip and therefore you it, you can't re reverse engineer the code so but that that's the only time that before you know like I said the blink project in our instance that we're using it for we, you you could read the code right back off of it Next we'll look at the CCSC software, which is the CCS load software for the Mach X. Same same deal, not, not much different. They have a little bit more um, features such as diagnostic tools uh, to be able to test uh, the chip, make sure it's functioning properly, uh, test the chip as it resides in a circuit that you've uh, built and things like that. Uh, it has a few more functionality, but basically the same. You got your target, which is you choose your device from in there, what your 676 chip. You've got file, which you just choose browse to browse to your file. You've got test, which tests just uh, without actually writing code. It actually just tests the chip, makes it calls for the chip to send it its ID, um, and it compares it to what it expects it should be and lets you know if the chip is uh, able to be programmed and is you know seated in the ZIF properly and whatnot. And then over here for your command buttons, you've got pretty much the same exact uh, types of deal. You got the write to chip, read from chip, erase, verify, uh, and then verify or verify blank and verify uh, that it's equal to a certain file. And uh, run test program calibrate. I have not used these two uh, very extensively. Um, but there is a uh, there is a guide out there that uh, uh, is on CCS's website. That's the user's manual that lets you know what everything everything does on this. So that's basically it to programming a chip. Um, put it in the programmer and hit program basically, and the programmer does the rest and burns your code to your chip. Now moving on to uh, some other uh, types of programmers, which is the ICSP and ICD. The Mach X actually has both of these uh, abilities as well as the programming from a ZIF or socketed programming. Um, the ICSP stands for in-circuit serial programming. What that is for is if you have, let's say, a surface mount component or uh, even, even a DIP through-hole component that you may have soldered to the board that's actually in place in the actual circuit, uh, in the target circuit that you're going to put it in. Uh, you, where you can't easily just you know pluck it out of a socket or something and you just throw it back in the ZIF and uh, reprogram it. Well, then you can actually leave uh, a couple of pins vacant on the board, and usually it typically is pin B6 and B7, typically on most uh, picks that have the ICSP ability, and you'll have to check the data sheets on them. I know that the 676 chip just a regular 676 does not have the ICSP ability. You actually have to get the 676-ICSP or ICD, I think it's ICD, 676-ICD chip uh, that is actually a larger chip that has more pins on it. Uh, I, can't, I don't really recall, I think maybe a 20 pin chip and it has the ICSD uh, or ICSP, excuse me, um, pins on it so you can in circuit program it. And basically what you do is you hook up um, per this uh, connection diagram that you're seeing right now, uh, you hook up your different pins one through six here and you hook them up to your chip, uh, your ICSP pins B6 and B7 uh, which is the clock and data. You'll hook those up and then uh, tie your mem clear in. Remember me explaining if you watched the previous uh, one on the Blink project, previous lesson, they, I talked about the MemClear pin, how you can use it as a as a reset function to like software reset the chip, and that's basically what the ICSPs do is they just software reset the the chip and then load the program to it once it wakes back up. So fairly straightforward, very easy. Um, for an ICD, an in-circuit debugger, what that is, is basically if uh, those of you that have programmed in a Windows environment or even in a Linux environment, just in you know any type of computer environment, uh, programming in C, you know you always have whether you're using Borland or uh, using Visual Studio or what what have you. Um, you'll always have you know your debug features where you can set up watches and you know all your different functions and whatnot to 
debug your code and check flow control and whatnot. Um, you basically, on a chip, or an embedded system rather, uh, you have the problem of once the code is on the chip and running, it's actually a totally separate circuit uh, from the computer. So uh, the computer basically has no control over what's happening in the code. Yeah. So what you can do to be able to use um, debug functionality is you need an ICD or an in-circuit debugger. Um, you can also get an ICE, which is an in-circuit emulator, which basically is a little box that uh, is USB that you plug in your computer and it basically emulates a the desired device, your uh, 676 chip or what have you. Um, it'll basically pretend to be that chip and give you um, your feedback that you're looking for. Um, the best one I think is the right, is to go ahead and get the ICD because that way you're actually working with the device that is actually in the circuit that you're working with and that way you can debug your actual system. And then this way it feeds uh, through the data and clock line, you know, through the data line it feeds back all that information about the variables and register values and everything that's happening. Uh, live on the chip so you can watch all that and debug it. So that's what an ICD is, an ICSP, pretty pretty straightforward. The next one is the MP Labs ICD3. Um, this one is basically the same thing. Uh, you got this one has a little bit better diagram. These these diagrams are all on their respective websites, CCSCs and uh, M or uh, microchips websites. Um, I'll give links in the description but basically see here you've got your VDD, you know, and then you've got your mem clear, and then there's our 10 k ohm resistor. See, they they tell you they give you a range. They so can do 4.7 k ohm or 10 k ohm, uh, typically 10 k. Um, but there's your 10 k ohm resistor that I talked about uh, in the previous lesson. Um, I talked about you know we get used to seeing that because it's it is used whenever you use a reset. Well, that's basically what this is doing. Is this will reset the chip through the mem clear, and then you've got your clock and data lines. And then, and then regular ground, and that's really all you have to worry about hooking up. And then you could, you have the ability to program it and uh, debug your your system. Well, this has been pretty much it for programming with a microchip. Uh, I will be uh, putting posting other videos uh, shortly um, on. Uh, doing some stuff. I think we will be doing uh, some input into this into this different systems, uh, showing how to do that, uh, putting some buttons on it, and actually gathering inputs as well as outputting data to different things. So uh, thank you for watching, and I'll be posting soon. Thank you.